Hi everyone, it's me again. I just wanted to go over a couple of things that you can start doing right now in order to help get this process going. I know May is still a little bit away, but we're hoping to get all of the documentation in so that when we do get information from the diocese, when we can confirm the dates, we have everything ready to go and no one's scrambling at the last minute. This will also allow, if we have difficulty getting some of the documents, it'll allow us enough time to get everything that we need so that your child can receive the sacrament of First Communion and First Reconciliation. There's not a whole lot to do. There is a form that we have that I will need you to fill out, the registration form, which is um, thanks to Elisa Carey at St. Gabriel School who made this fillable for us. It will be online on the church website, but I believe you can also access it from the schools. They will have copies of it. Please fill it out. It's just a short registration form. Fill it out and send it to me at the church. My email address will be on the web church website, but you can also get that from the school. It's pretty straightforward. It's just your child's full name, uh, date of birth, place of birth. What else is on there? date of baptism, place of baptism, your school, and your teacher. Um, I really need the most, well, everything's important on that form, I wouldn't ask for it, but the place of baptism, I am required to send notification of all sacraments received to the place of baptism, the church of baptism. That is where all records on every individual is kept. So if I don't have the correct address if I don't have, or if I pick the wrong church in a general area and they don't get the proper information. This will affect your child when it comes time for confirmation or any of the other sacraments going forward. So please make sure that is correct and complete so that I can notify them. The other thing that we need is a copy or proof that your child was baptized. Uh, as you know, baptism is the first of the sacraments of initiation, and if they don't have that, then they cannot receive the other sacraments. So I do need proof of that. You can do that by either just sending me, scanning a copy of the baptismal certificate or taking a picture and emailing it to me. If you don't have access to that, you will need to reach out to the Church of Baptism and ask for proof that they were baptized. Please have them send it to me directly Right now, our church office is still closed, so if documents get sent there, I may not receive them. We don't know when our church will be open again, and, and I'm sure when it does open, Renata will have hundreds and hundreds of emails to go through. So if you could send it to me directly, or have the church that you reach out to send to me directly, then that will make things a whole lot easier, and we won't be running around looking at the last minute. I think that's about all that I need. I am asking to have these forms back to me by April 1st. That way, if there's something that's incomplete, um, I'll have time to follow up before it comes time for the sacraments. So if you could do that, that would be great. And I think that's about it for forms. Again, if you have any questions, with the office being closed, I'm not at the church, so voicemails I will not get. Uh, for I don't know how long. So please email me. I will be accessing that and can get back to you within 24 hours. If you have any other questions, again, or concerns, please let me know. Reach out to me and I will be in touch. Thanks so much. God bless.